done living life with the lights out Die with my own time Please like and share our videos Driving through Angola, the effect of the war was still very evident, even after all these years. But what amazed us every day was the spirit of the people, their welcoming smiles and spontaneity. What definitely freaked us out was some of the driving styles and lack of safety consciousness, especially of the big truck drivers on the dilapidated roads. So we are visiting the municipal market in Melanze and I've just asked the Karin if she is willing to eat a, a tiny worm, it's a, dry, a dried worm um, and she's under pressure now to see if she can perform on camera. Um, very interesting market, interesting smells, what do you think? If you take the time to come and look, come and look for it. There's a little bag carrier in here. Quite, quite insistent bag carriers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go and see if you can eat the worms. Is it? Little boy. Ah. 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 So this morning we are at the Kalangula waterfalls. They're only seven meters shorter than the big falls. Big falls. They are 105 meters tall and 400 meters wide. And you can actually see more of them without getting soaking wet than you do at big falls. Um, so let me show you the other side now. Just a quick check up. Let me report from the road. Um, guess what is this? Okay, we also didn't know. It just fell out of the car, out of the engine, and now the car won't start. Please help us. No, I'm joking. Um, so the so the wiper blade stopped working, and um, we've asked our 
reliable four <laughs> <Mechanical laughs> four by four, Toyota four by four yeah, people really to help what's wrong and they suggested that the that we just need to spray Q20 on the motor. Uh, on the motor. And these are the friendly people. Oh okay. So it's early morning choices um, in Angola on the way to the border. Interesting Maybe it's road. To make the decision early in the morning than late in the afternoon. So there was a very rickety wooden bridge. The very rickety bridge or the um what do we call that? Maybe a bridge. A ramp. Ramp. No, that doesn't qualify for a bridge. Mm -hmm. And we decided after well, the kids said two, the ramp. Two, two minutes. Yeah, oh, yes, and the local The local said the, the ramp. The local advisor said the ramp. And not there the were bridge. more more tracks there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So we made Maybe. the right choice with oh. the right advice. Yeah. So the last few days has really tested our fearlessness because we are still trying to leave Angola and it is the third or fourth day on the road. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, so we... we we're staying. <laughs> no, no, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Ten, Ten k's, k's to the border. Okay, um. so we are a bit dirty. Oh, it's dirty. We yesterday we okay yesterday this happened okay so it's been a very hard day in the office for the fearless and four wheels team my name is faithless now <laughs> the faithless in on four wheels on my left mm -hmm. we drove quite an interesting road nice and sandy technical till we hit the Zambezi river and then we couldn't cross it mm -hmm. So we drove to this last town and then there was supposed to be a pond. What do you yeah, mean? a ferry. A ferry. To which take us over. was not there to take us over the Zambezi. Then these two very friendly guys said they will take us over both rivers where you drive through it. First river was fine. And we'll show you some footage. Yeah. Maybe I guess maybe mid calf. Then we bundu bashed. But it's basically a local road. Bundu bashed through a few forests and I think a few riverbeds. And then we got to the Zambezi and... It was a bit too hard I, I, for us. Yeah, it, um, I, the first section you go in hip half. And then um, and the river was quite strong so um, I, I didn't want to do it. And um, then we decided not to do it. So now we're on our way back. We've turned around. We've got. We're gonna do another like five-hour drive back to to yeah. thick sand to where we um, must now turn south and mm. drive down back to Namibia. Yeah. Because we do not want to go north, north around off. and get too close to the DRC as yeah. there has been some unrest mm. on the border so of luckily, Angola. It's not about the journey because we don't have one, it's the ride. Oh, yes, <laughs> and we could have a long ride. But I'm a bit pissed off. I would have loved to have crossed mm. the Zambezi yeah. on a water but crossing. But it just, it just didn't make sense. I mean, if yeah. you look at it and I've got the picture or two, it, it just didn't make sense to yeah. put the car at risk. To cross the Zambezi, then I'd rather do what, four thousand no, additional. Kilometers. I would have liked to have crossed the Zambezi on a water crossing. That would have been lack. Yeah. To the, oh, sorry, we are here now. We wanted to do this, yeah, but we, now we yeah. have to do this. Maybe, I mean, maybe it will even be nice to drive through the Caprivi Strip with yes. a with a four by four this time, yeah. and not the Renault yes. Kangoo. Yes, yes, yes. it will. See. It will be nice. Yeah. Cool. So we'll see you on the road. Yeah, not in Zambia, unfortunately, but maybe in Angola. Yes. Hmm. So yesterday morning we were here making choices about bridges or ramps, and we're back to do it again. This time, Karine will be driving. Yes. Okay. So yes. She's made it! Woo! What? 
Hello. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see it. You can see it. Good day, yeah. And then today, quite a few more things have happened. Yeah. Um, first, we, yeah. first of all, we we took the what's a, we decided to go to um, the border crossing that's a bit south, um, and then we nearly didn't get diesel, but. Um, we got to a village and the people were very nice and they showed us We very stopped and we talked and we were nice Yeah, and we, we had a very nice evening, we sat in the streets and we ate nice chicken and everything and we thought, oh, okay, life is good And then today when we, um, <coughs> we took the road on, we took the wrong road on We took the one on for the bigger trucks and mm -hmm. tractors and we got stuck immediately, twice and had to dig ourselves out. A very nice guy, Domingo. Yeah, he helped us. It took us about two hours to get the car out, out. but then luckily I found oh, yes, the very road. smart to the go and have a look. Normal car, so we've, we've done the 50 k's. Okay, then, then we drive for a few minutes. And then I made a big fuck. First of all, this is where the box used to be. I've now put a little curtain in here, very nice. The air can flow beautifully through it. Um, and now look and see. And then um, we really struggled to attach the box somewhere, but luckily we've got this uh, the, the wheel, the, the, the extra wheel, uh, fifth wheel. Now it's like in a box. Nicely tied up, and then <laughs> we, 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 the, the, the door for the thing is here, and then the chair is here. The chair also got hurt quite badly. So, uh, what all we want to do today is to get to, get the, to the border, border <laughs> and 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 sleep. It's and been wash, <laughs> wash. I'm, I, I am really, I'm so dirty. I don't even think they will let me into a hotel. I have to do a pre-wash. <laughs> yes. So we we we're just doing the border thing, and then we're gonna chillax and sleep, and then tomorrow it's another I think 180 kilometers of sand. <laughs> um, I don't think it's that much, but yeah, we'll see. And then I need to get my wheelchair fixed because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna drive Karin crazy with doing everything for me and me crawling around so anything like oh you'll have to start walking yeah all no, have to start walking get this act together man <laughs> with wheelchair things start getting out there yeah it's a, it's a irritation yeah, so it's a please it's it's what's the time now three o'clock hopefully we will be there at four yeah any last words no okay we will see you on the road Bye. next time on fearless on four wheels we start putting my wheelchair and Ufuru back together. We then take a ferry to Luuvo National Park. Please remember to join us on the road. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to support us on Patreon, go to www.patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels. Click the Become a Patreon button on the top right, then select your pledge amount, or you can enter your own amount. After that, all you have to do is select a payment method, which could be PayPal or credit card. It's easy as that. All pledges are appreciated. Thank you for your support.